Hello YOLO and welcome back to Notes on Hobbies. So today we are going to talk to Ashadir to end the campaign and we can go overseas. So let's go back to our town. Alright, so we are now back in our hometown. So let's go talk to our mother. Before that, let me just grab some stuff outside the house. Alright mom, what can you tell us? End the campaign. All uncompleted optional content in Denmark will become unavailable once you end the campaign. Are you sure you wish to do this now? And all right. So before we go overseas, we have an option to create a new set of characters or party. But for now, I'm just gonna keep all my um, characters intact because I want there to be a storyline all right let's confirm you won't be able to manage your party after this point make sure you're happy with your selection before you proceed i am happy everyone has gathered on the shore to watch as your beautiful new longship is launched i will find him mother i'll find out what happened to him Alright, so they've given us the option to talk to people before we go. And I don't mind talking to them, whatever they have to say. Alright, Torfin? No. Alright, really? The ship is fine, yes, but it's the crew that will make it strong. You are the strongest warrior among us, but don't let it get it to your head. Oh man, I don't have any uh, encouraging option here. Alright, let's do this. Is your family not here? Are you ready to go? Alright, he is ready. Rosva, where do I put my stuff? Got enough supplies to supply your trade? How did Hulda take the news? Who's going to look after her? That's probably for the best. The crazy old crone might not let you leave. How do you feel? There's a first time for everything. One change of clothes. Warrior Princess, Nefia, the Warrior Princess. Alright, get on the ship and make yourself at home. Get ill. Wait for them to finish. You, Kettle and Nephia, you're all so young. I know you probably feel invincible, but you need to watch out for each other. I wouldn't let anything happen to Kettle. I don't think they found it easy. Right, see ya. It is. You're not coming?
Oh, she is coming. Ready? Alright, Aedas is coming. How about Gunner? Got anyone waiting for you at home? What do you think we'll find over there? Can I trust you, Gunner? I'll be back when we're ready to set sail. How about the smith? Nothing? Really? Alright, board, let everyone say their goodbyes. Oh, there's two more. Nephia, I need your help. Of course! Thank you, I don't think I can handle myself, come on. Really now? You had to be a sexy walker? Look at how she walks! Oh my god, how can you be a warrior? They can wait a moment longer. Nephew wanted to say goodbye before we leave. I need her by my side. She's one of the most skilled warriors I know. This isn't just about you or me. The purpose of this expedition is to save our village and our clan and I can't do without your daughter. I need you to say goodbye so we can leave. Alright, finished. Who else? Huh, who else hasn't said their goodbyes? Uh, ah, Rurik, my brother. I'm so sorry, my brother. I forgot about you. You fret for no reason. Alright, everybody has said their goodbyes. Let's now board our longship and leave for the British Isles. First, we do a quick save. Alright, have we got everything? Have we said goodbye to everything? Who does not hear? Burial site. Alright, I think we're ready to leave. Oh, but before that, this is one tip you need to do before you leave your homestead. You need to upgrade it, alright? And at the moment, there are three things I can upgrade. It's the banners, and the other one is a training ring. And the third one is a farm, which takes four days. I don't know why I can't upgrade this. Oh, because I don't have the resources. Right. Okay, so what can we do? Can I still go out? No, I can't go out of town anymore. Oh, I should have traded some stuff so I could build. I mean, I could upgrade some more, you know, to so make use of the days. Alright then, four days to complete. I don't care. It'll take us a few days to get there anyway. And you can only upgrade one th one thing at a time, so that's bad. Anyway, let's go. Choose your Bannerman. The title of Bannerman denotes the most trusted member of your herd. Your second in command, who you can expect to deal with a little more often than other members of your herd. Alright, who's my Bannerman? Who wants to be the Bannerman? 
How's life? Let's make him not hesitant anymore. I will serve you well, Notes. I'll follow you into Valhalla if I must. You have my word. Thank you all for joining me on this expedition. None of you owe your allegiance. Most of you have reasons to stay behind. Yet you've chosen to leave your home and your loved ones and follow me into great danger in a distant land. I will not squander the trust you've placed in me. Your lives and your health are my main concern. We'll all, we're all hoping for wealth and glory. But what are such things if we are not till alive and well to enjoy them? All of us in this ship, from today and onwards, we are brothers and sisters in arms. We must watch out for each other, and we will be called upon to risk our lives for each other. As long as we stand together, we will all return safely. Whatever you were before, now you are Vikings. We are now in the world map. We need to go here. How many days? Two days? Yeah, that's too early. Should have upgraded it. Maybe I can still put people in it. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, so who is coming with us? Of course, we've got... Let's put our new staff in with us. No, Aedis, you're not coming with us. <laughs> you're a warrior. Alright, I need a healer. And I think Abby is the healer, but I don't have... Oh, I think he, Abby also has demoralized. Because I need that for my archer, for our enemy archers. Alright, so we've got one archer. Alright, I'll grab Kettle. And let's go. Men and women, watch you disembark from the rocks above, silhouetted against a light grey sky. Down the beach, two brave youngsters keep a close eye on the mysterious strangers in the and their imposing worship. They see a path up the cliffs to the south, they'll be expecting us. We're gonna scout things out. The rest of you drag up the ship and make camp. Alright, so what do we do? Get a hold of some horses and supplies. Let's go left here first. And these two are running back to wherever they came from. I'm not after you guys. I'm not gonna kill you. Oh, and an armor webbing there. So what's in here? Oh, a camp. Okay, how about to the right? In the left corner, we have a cam. In the right corner. Alright, uh, there's just a fireplace here. Nothing else. Alright, let's go up, up and away. Where is the way? Oh, where the two were running from. We're running to. Right, let's go. Ooh, luscious green forest. Morkant. What are you doing in there? Oh, how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The group who intercepts you above the cliffs display every indication of the classic angry mob, down to the prevalence of pitchforks. Hold up your hands in peaceful greeting. I think I understand this. You understand what they're saying? Ask them to lead the way and make it clear that we don't want trouble. They quickly seem to reach some sort of conclusion and their youngest member takes off at a full tilt down a path towards the woods. More cryptic declarations are transmitted by the emissary. What 
We'll do as they ask. Let's see who they're fetching. A few tense minutes pass. The guard, the guarded looks crackling between your herd and the natives, and the uneasy shuffling of feet on both sides contrast bizarrely with the calm waves against the beach and the pretty songs of the birds among the trees. Finally, the errand boy returns to the trot trailing a tall man in a shaggy robe whose stride is far more brisk than ought to be possible with sandals in such an advanced state of unravelment as he is. As he reaches the welcoming party, the robed man lowers his hood and takes in the sight of your modest heathen whore with a slow, deeply interested view. Few words are exchanged between him and the emissary and the robed man closes the distance between new bows and introduces bows and introduces himself in heavily accented Saxon. Dominus Vibiscum, stranger. I am Brother Morkant. I have given my life to studying the ineffable beauty of God's work. I am Notes, son of hobbies, and this is my retinue. We have come from Skern on the coast of Jutland to the east. Might I inquire as to the purpose of your journey? Discovery and trade. Alright, let's go with them. And let's get some stuff while we're on our way. Alright, let's save the game. Talk to Mokholm. My name is McCollin and I am the driver of this town. I am Nords Hobbison. It is an honor to meet you. Nords, are you? We've had some visitors from your lands before. Will you tell me what happened when you last met people of our kind? Oh, uh, no. I think I know what happened. We are not raiders. We are honorable people and our errand is peaceful. Is there nothing I can do to gain your trust? A band of outlaws have recently troubled the village. They camp beyond a nearby stream, frequently attacking the farms or robbing merchants entering or leaving town. Are you suggesting we route these bandits? Very well, we'll prove that these people have nothing to fear from us. Let Morkant join. Fine, just stay back when the fighting starts. What possible purpose would that serve? Okay, come. Let's end the dialogue. Alright, let's go up. And let us kill those bandits, whoever they are. Because they're up there. Okay, so where's the way up there? Is this the way up there? No, that's the stream. I think this is the way up. We have to go down first. Oh look, some hides. You can grab some hides here. There we go. And some fruits. Medicine. Okay. Um, oh, here's the pathway. Keto, what the hell are you doing there? Come here. Hmm, there's this way here. Oh, what's that? I'll take care of that later. I need to go to where I'm needed first. Uh, this is the wrong way, dude. <laughs> where is the pathway? Ah, this one here. There we go. I think they're just across the bridge. So let's save and let's go there. Six men and women are strewn upon about the riverbank inhabiting a camp of tents that appear to be made out of the sails of a ship. Some attempt to establish a perimeter of sentries has been made, but it's immediately obvious that whoever is organizing this has never had a day of battle training in their life. Alright, um, let's have a talk with these people, see how far diplomacy will get us. Quinn. 
How? What do you want? You better turn around and then leave if you know what's good for you. Who are you people and what happened to your ship? Tell me what happened. Wait, so did they steal from you or did you steal from them? I'll ask Mokholan about this. If your account is true, that changes things. Alright, let's go to Mokholan. I talked to the bandits. They claim your people extinguished the beacon to wreck their ship and steal their cargo. It, it's true. There's no use denying it. Those vultures have terrorized the coast for months. I believe you owe these bandits restitution. I agree. I will drive Gwen and her bandits away. Alright, I wanna approach the bandits from this side, because if you approach them from this side, you'll get cornered, most likely. So I'm gonna approach them from the left. Now I'm gonna do a quick save first. He admits the village is to blame, but he refuses to do anything about it. We can try number two, that building on the cliff. Looks quite healthy. Have you sought help there? The monastery? That's the first place we went. They wouldn't even open the gate for us. We pleaded with them through the wall, but they wouldn't budge. No, we will not attack the monastery. That is unlawful. He admits the village is to blame, but he refused to do anything about it. I see a solution. Hmm, that is immoral, so I'll just get rid of this people here. Alright, let's just toggle non-lethal attacks, we don't want to kill them. Alright, he has a shield, and I want to take care of that shield. How can we do that? Well, we attack. Hello, Morkant. What can you do? Oh, that's so weak, man. That is so weak. Oh, you look at that. You can maneuver. That is not useful, actually. Alright, let's double our mental and physical resistances. You, you can kill him. Hmm. Can't move anywhere. So, Morkin, can you please come here and hide? Oh, crap! There's a trap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go close by. Gandalf, what can you do for me, mate? 85% okay uh, this is a free action so I'll do a ranging shot on Quen make him spotted is it him or her? I think it's a her and then I'll do quick shots ooh critical hit nice Oh man, he blocked it with it. She blocked it with a shield. Alright, hopefully this one will kill him. Now let's use quick shot again. 
so at least we get two chances if, he blo if she blocks the shield. There we go, and we can use it on this one right here. Nice, perfect. Okay, you can you attack this guy? Oh, you know what? You can actually provoke him. You can taunt him. Is what I meant. Oh yeah, right into the fists of Aedes. Alright, let's go here. And Ebe. Ebe, my healer. What can you do? Demoralize? Yeah, let's demoralize. Alright, I'm happy. Let's go. We got three more enemies remaining. Oh, they also have sacrament. Oh, more can't. More can't, my friend. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna avenge you. Oh, let's make him harried first. How come I can't? Seriously? Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Come on, miss. Yes. For the win. Bye-bye. Oh, Markant. Useless. Okay. Um, what can we do? We can charge. Or we can do this. Heavy punch is even better. Yeah, let's do a heavy punch on this guy. And we'll be burning. Shit. <laughs> That's alright, I can... I cannot move away. Okay, um... What can we guys do? Let's... Let's go here. And attack this... Can't attack him. Oh, wow. That's weird. That's alright. I don't need attacking. Alright, let's make him... Her, Harry. Come on, miss! <laughs> How are you gonna miss? She was just beside you. There you go. Oh, resisted Harry. Right, I don't care. He is going down anyway. Nobody has an attack anymore. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Alright. Kill him. And we emerged victorious with nobody dead. But we can steal from them. Alright. So, what's next? Get a hold of some horses and supplies. Cloth armor there. So I'm just gonna take everything that's, that can be taken from these people. They're still alive, so I didn't kill them. So what have we got? Um, no morale? Okay. That's fine. They're all incapacitated. Now we just need to go back to McCullen and find some more if see if we can find some horses for me. The bandits will trouble you no longer. I hate to see innocent people exploited. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, I'm glad we got this all sorted out. Where are these places you mentioned?
I'll be happy to travel with you. Alright, now we got one more character added to our party. He should be very useful. Yeah, Morkan should be very useful. See, we received 10 skill points for that quest. Alright guys, I think I'll end the episode there. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to see more of Expeditions Viking. Keep on watching. You only live once. See you in the next one.